Hello everyone, today we're going to learn how to use the different forms of the word rat. That way we'll know how to correctly say I like in Slovene. So rat is the English to like, but it's quite the cute little exception in Slovene. So what about it? What's so special about rat? Well, the thing is that it's a bit of an imposter. Judging by its appearance, rat is an adjective. Adjectives, like pronouns and nouns, are noun-like words. As such, they are subject to the rules that apply to nouns, and have to do with gender, number, and case. By that we mean there are different forms of those words, depending on the gender of the word, how many things we're talking about, and which case the word takes in a given context. With rat, however, just like with participles, case doesn't play any role, since everything is in the nominative, so to speak. It's gender and number that are important. L participles, remember, are words that help us form the past and future tense. So, by its appearance, rat's company are nouns and adjectives. However, the thing is that for some unknown reason, rat got fed up with hanging out with the nouns and adjectives and decided it wanted to see what it's like to be a verb. And so, it took on a verb's job, the English verb to like. So, rat is basically an adjective functioning as a verb. To not repeat everything that we've already covered in more detail in previous lessons, I suggest you watch the video titled The Importance of 1, 2, 3. It'll help you a lot with this lesson. However, just to briefly review, on screen we have three nouns. Sok means juice and represents masculine nouns. Kava means coffee and represents feminine nouns. And pivo means beer and represents neuter nouns. So the table is essentially one juice, two juices, three juices in the top row. 1 coffee, 2 coffees, 3 coffees in the middle row, 1 beer, 2 beers, 3 beers in the bottom row. So that's number and the gender. As far as case is concerned, all the words on screen are in the nominative or the first case. And like we said, case is not important in today's lesson. What is important are the endings, so the nominative endings. As was explained in more detail in The Importance of 1, 2, 3, they're important because the noun endings in the nominative are identical to the adjective endings in the nominative. And those in turn are identical to the participle endings. Participles, again, are the words with which we form the past and future tense in Slovene. So to those three today, we can add the word rat as well. You can see why in the previous lesson we stressed that learning this table is so important. Today we're just adding one more reason why it pays to commit it to memory. So again, it's the endings that are important. For example, it's important to understand and know that if we're dealing with three feminine things, the ending is E, and so on and so forth. However, keep in mind though that the same ending can represent different things. The ending A can represent one of something feminine, two of something masculine, and three of something plural. Anyway, let's put this table in the top right corner and see how this all relates to rat. So, if we know rat is identical to sok, getting at all the other endings is very simple, as long as we have the table in the top right in mind. For two men, or a man and a woman, it's rada. For three men, or a mixed group of people, it's radi. One woman, rada. Two women, radi. Three women, rade. One of something neuter, rado. The neuter ones are very rare, because it's people that are able to like something or someone, and people are male or female. But still, two of something neuter technically is radi, and three of something neuter is technically rada. So, using rat correctly is basically quite similar to forming the past or future tense. In both cases, we have to combine two worlds and their respective characteristics. One is the world of nouns, and the other of verbs. They share some grammatical categories, but not others. Gender has to do with nouns and noun-like words. Number is shared by both noun and verbs, whereas the category of person mostly has to do with verbs. All of this will become much clearer when we have a look at specific examples. But basically, the tools you need to have in order to use the past tense, the future tense, and rat is to know the nine conjugated present tense verb forms along with the table in the top right. The nine forms, remember, are I, you, he or she, and then the same for the dual and the plural. So, the two of us, the two of you, the two of them, and then we, you, and they. 
Let's have a look at some examples. I'm watching TV. This translates to jas gledam televizio or gledam televizio. We can omit jas because it's already included in the gledam. So far, so good. I was watching TV. Here we're faced with the first difficulty. To form the past tense, we need a participle, and participles are noun-like words, so they have to do with everything in the top right corner and all of that. So, if an English-speaking person asks a Slovene-speaking person how to say, I was watching TV, the Slovene-speaking person should actually reply with a question in return, and that is, whether the person asking is a male or female. A male person would say, Jas sam gledal televizio. Whereas a female person would say, Jas sam gledala televizio. That's because the masculine singular ending is a consonant, the final L in gledau or gledal, and the feminine singular ending is A, the final A in gledala. Now on to like. I like to watch TV. So, because rat is an exception, even if it's in the present tense, it forces us to make a gender decision. In this regard, it's different from all Slovene verbs, because technically, it's not a verb. With other verbs in the present tense, gender doesn't play a role, just like we've seen in the first example of I'm watching TV. The same sentence applies to males and females. However, because rat is an exception like we've explained, in translating the sentence, we have to keep the same things in mind that we did with the past tense. A male would say, jas rat gledam televizio. And the female would say, jas rada gledam televizio. Let's do the same thing for the plural now. If you want to practice, pause the clip before we show each Slovene translation and try to come up with the answer yourself. For the first example, you have to know the nine conjugated verb forms for the present tense. To watch or gledati is a regular verb, so the first person plural is mi gledamo. So, we watch or we're watching TV is mi gledamo televizio or gledamo televizio. In the second example, we have the past tense. Whenever you're dealing with the past tense, the future tense, or rat, ask yourself two questions. The first is, what's the gender? This one is easy here, because we already colored me blue. The second question is, how many things we're talking about? In this example, it's the plural. All you need to do then is check the table in the top right. Blue narrows it down to the top row only, and the plural is in the right column. So the correct answer is, right column, top row, soki. The ending has to be an I, I. Mi smo gledali televizio. Mi smo gledali televizio. Sticking to the same rules, we get the following answers. Mi smo gledali televizio. Mi radi gledamo televizio. Mi rade gledamo televizio. If you're a beginner and all of this grammar stuff is a bit too much, but you'd still like to take something practical from this lesson, do the following. If you want to say I like plus a verb in Slovene and you're a male, say jas rat. If you want to say I like plus verb and you're a female, say jas rada. With nouns, if you're a male, say jas imam rat plus a noun in the fourth case. And if you're a female, say jas imam rada plus a noun in the fourth case. One final thing before we end the lesson. Like we said, rat is an adjective, although not your most typical adjective. However, it still has three different forms. Sort of, to like something, to like something more, and to like something the most. Now, a welcome exception is that in the second and the third form, so when saying more and the most, it's the same for both males and females. I like to drink coffee. Rat pijem kavo. Notice we omitted the word jas. That's because pm can only be jas. If it's not ambiguous, and it's not here, we tend to omit the subject in Slovene quite often. I like to drink coffee if the I is a female is rada pijem kavo. I like to drink tea more would be raje pijem chai. So in the sentence rat pijem kavo, we know the person saying it is a male. But with raje pijem chai, it can be a male or a female. Raje is the only option, no matter the gender. And the same goes for the most. Najraje pijem vodo. The sentence is the same for males and females. So a male person would say, so a male person would go, rat raje najraje, 
and the female person would go rada, raje, najraje. Well, hopefully this helps you understand how to use the word rat. I hope the lesson wasn't too grammar heavy. Until next time, good luck, study hard, and aim for the stars.